Hello, my adventurers, and welcome now to Tuesday. Thank you for logging in. Partly cloudy, sentimental, and affectionate today. For the archers, the moon is in your opposite sign, putting emotional focus on your relationships. So you're emotionally sensitive and empowered when it comes to how you relate to yourself and to others today. Great time to kind of snuggle up with your honey. And if you don't have a honey, well, then snuggle up with yourself. Remember, probably the most powerful relationship is our mirage, the way we marry ourselves. So take yourself out on a date. Zip into the sun. We're in chapter one of Sun and Scorpio. And today, your ruling planet, Jupiter, is ruling the day. That means it's time to explore. Now, this month, what we are exploring is the weeds in your soul garden. This is the self-sabotaging behavior that wraps itself around your flowers, chokes the life out of you. This is the fears that you fall into. This is past life karma, if your belief structure goes back that far. And certainly, this is early childhood kind of damage or trauma you've gone through. And in this first chapter, we're going to be tripping over our weeds. We're going to be figuring out what we need to face. So this is a heavy time of denial getting broken. This is also a heavy time of projecting your crap onto someone else. If someone makes you really mad or really sad or really anything, it's probably a pattern in your life, which we call a weed. So today with Jupiter ruling day, it's time to explore. It's time to see, well, what do we really need to work on here? Or maybe you're not even clear on what the weeds are. You might just be focusing this on the faith in, wanting to have faith in yourself, wanting to have faith in life. And when you can't have faith, it's the weeds that sabotages you. Now, I do want to mention Venus retrograde. Venus retrograde in Scorpio means that all these weed decisions, everything, are based on how well you love yourself or don't love yourself, okay? It's a very important consideration. So of course we're thinking about how we should drink, not drink so much or not do this too much or not yell at our boyfriends or girlfriends. That's the weed behavior and we think about it as far as how we should be in the outer world. But have you really considered from the perspective of because you love yourself, you don't want to yell at your family. Because you love yourself, you don't want to get a DUI. It is that Venus retrograde that's adding a really extra special spark to this year's Sun and Scorpio transit. And if you want to analyze the last time Venus was retrograde in Scorpio, it was the fall of 2002. And it's Tuesday. We've got a new episode of Just Ask Us starring Lauren Serafin, our practical comedic advice, and Angelo Aris, our local intuitive. They come together to answer your question on camera. So if you emailed us, they might be answering. If they didn't, it's still a great show. Angelo and Lauren are live everywhere Soul Garden Blooms. All right, Sag, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow, it's our first breakdown of the Scorpio season. All that and more in 24. Live, love, be. Soul Garden.